Ublalatak. Kanuak Pizzi. Today is Wednesday. What day? All day today, let's be responsible. Always try. Do our best. Cooperate with others. And let's treat everyone with respect, including ourselves. Yesterday, we did a check-in on our feelings wheels, one for younger students, one for older students. There's lots of different types of these. And today, we're going to actually do a little bit of feelings level labeling as part of our process we're learning. So the first thing we need to do today is to get organized. Can you and your classmates pause this video after the directions? I'd like you to do two things, please. Pull out any feelings wheel resources you have in the classroom and get organized into a circle. Get that, pause the video here and get those two things, feelings wheel resources and in a circle. And older students, if you don't have a feelings wheel with you right now, you can use the ones up on the screen. So today is naming practice. For some of the older students, this is gonna feel like a piece of cake. So why don't you think about some of the more challenging or obscure emotions that could be going on here? And younger students, some of you, this will be easy and some of you, it'll be hard. So help each other, please. Okay, can you please work in a circle to name the emotion you see on my face? I was trying to look sad. So if you said something from the sad part of the feelings wheel, you were right on. The next couple, I'm gonna to try to make them harder to distinguish. So after I make the face, please pause the video, take a minute in your circle, and figure out what you think it might be. Okay, next one. Last one. Ready? You might have been wondering why I didn't tell you what emotion I was trying to show you. That's because I wanted you to think for yourself what you might feel like if you were showing that expression. And that's going to be different for different people because some people look mad like this and some people look mad like this. And some people look mad like this. It's different, right? So today we really worked on labeling, finding a name for an emotion we were feeling. And I have a challenge for you. Can you, from your class, send one or two pictures that shows a student in your class showing an emotion? And tomorrow we will try to label them. Have a wonderful Wednesday.